Okay, this is final FRQ number six. So first we start with this. So they want <clears throat> this is up the board, and we know this is up the board is the same as H max. So we can just write it as that. So H max equals to V O squared sine theta all squared over two A. I'm I'm gonna make this a y because when we draw the incline the ball and we set I'ma set so I'm gonna set this as my y axis so then this is my y is my x so then when we have my angle theta this is f of g let's draw like that this should be a right angle so that means that f of g y equals to f of g sine phi f of g y equals to m g sine phi and we know that f of g y we just equal to m a y we're gonna expand that sine phi equals to m a y cancel out the m's we get that we get a y equals to g sine phi going back to our original equation so that means that h max equals to v o squared sine theta squared and it's all over 2 a which is g sine phi b so it's distance of the whole board equals to v o x t plus one half a x t squared we know that a is zero because there's no <coughs> acceleration in the horizontal direction so d equals to v o x t and on the side we know that v o x equals to v o cosine theta <coughs> because the ball is launched like this split into two components so d equals to v o cosine theta times t that means that our t total what's going on that means we know that the t total is equal to d over v o cosine theta oh my bad a c we know that so they want us to find the time it takes to reach max height. So we can use VFY equals VOY plus AYT. And that's to find our change as we that's to find our VFY at the one <clears throat> this is to find VFY when it reaches the max height. And we know that at VFY, um, we know that at max height, VFY will equal zero because it reaches the top and then it'll start going down. So you change the sign, so as it, as it hits zero. So that means that we set that equal to zero. So that zero equals VOY plus, oh my bad, plus AYT. We know that V O Y equals to sine to V O sine theta. Again, the eight balls launch like that. We have the two components. So then we set this up as V zero V V V O sine theta minus G sine phi are using g sine sine phi from our previous a y that we saw for equals zero <clears throat> put that over there sine equals to v o sine theta and we solve for t so t equals to v o sine theta and that's all over g that's all over g Sine phi. Okay. We want D now. 
So if the answer to part C is delta T M, then that's to go halfway because max height is we the time it takes to go from max height to from zero to max height is the same from max height to the end. So if that's delta T, then we know that the answer is just two theta T M E. Prove that angle is that. Okay. So first we set up the distance formula. Not this formula. We can set up the distance in terms of VOX. So that's D equals VOXT. We did that earlier. And again, we know that VOX equals to cosine X. So we can just do D equals to VO cosine theta T. So we start out using this. Get the component. This one. Okay. And T total. And we know this is t total since the whole distance. So that's t total equals. Oh, whoops. My bad. So we know that t. We found earlier that t equals to this. But we want t total. So t total. And we multiply that by 2. This is v o sine theta over g sine phi. That's so all two. Now we plug that back in. So D equals V O. Oh, that was a little too big. Oh. Not bad. What is going on? Okay. V O. V O. V O cosine theta, and this is all times V O sine theta over G sine phi times two. D equals to two V O cosine theta V O squared sine theta and that's all over g sine phi and then now um uh, since we're for theta and move it up to the other side so cosine and keep the sign in front two sine Hello, operate two sine theta cosine theta equals to D times G over sine times G sine phi over V O squared and then the two sine theta cosine theta simplifies down to sine two theta and that will just equal and that still equals to D G sine phi over V O squared. Uh, solve for theta by the inverse sine, arc sine, negative one. D G sine phi squared. We're almost there. Then we just multiply both sides by one half to isolate sine. I mean to isolate theta. And we get D G sine phi over V O squared, and that proves that equation. Lastly, F. If the angle of the board is increased, that means that part A would decrease because again, let me write it, write it back out. H max equals to V O squared sine theta squared over 2G sine phi. As you see here, therefore, one we increase phi, the sine phi increases, and if the denominator increases, then the h 
max will decrease. Which is how it will change over into the part A. 